Okay, this is the first muskrat trap I set of the year. And I set it in memory of Doug Hoot. So, it brought me good luck. I also have another set here, a lake hole trap, a drowning set, uh, right next to it, and I'll show you. There's my tag. You can see my tag floating around down there. The trap was set right underneath here. And there's definitely something into it. It's out there in the bottom of the water. It looks to be a muskrat. There's muskrat number three for this morning. Perfect catch. Out here. Oh shit, that's a bag. It's gone. Out here kayaking. Checking my traps. Not used to one hand kayaking. But I thought this place was full of muskrat. Not a muskrat this morning. So, needless to say, I'm pulling my traps. Just a nice peaceful way to get around here. Kayaking. An owl or something just took off there. A dull morning. through that passageway there. I really thought there'd be a lot of rats in here, but nothing. There are rats sign, and if I was to give it time, I'd probably pull some rats out of here. But I don't want to give it too much time. It's a long dirt road. Winter's closing in. I get any snow. All my traps are out here. I got about a 20 kilometer walk to get to them. And where I'm setting them off a kayak, that's not a good walk. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing for the next couple of hours. There's one. Another out there. We baited it. Let's get reset now. Well, <clears throat> trap is gone. And that out there in the water. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up. 
There's a rat down there. See his tail. And this one here has produced again another rat. Good sets. Here's a uh, modified uh, Connor Bear, modified trigger on it. I made that out of a uh, sheet metal I bought from Canadian Tire. I got a set here in my Bobcat cubby. I should have my cubby here now. Let me just back up here. I got a, back, a Bobcat cubby in here and I got some muskrat and rabbit into it. Had a rabbit snare and I was eaten by a weasel. So I got a couple of bobcat snares set out here. And another one down the line there. To hopefully catch any bobcat that come. And I also have a snare set here. And one at the front. I'll go around to the front here. This is where I got the bobcat last year. This is fur that's still hanging here from the, uh, the 12 minute rabbit. So, before I was able to come out here and put snares, you can see that something was digging at the bait that I had there. So here's the, here's one snare. And the other snare is right at the back there. So it's a double snare, and uh, now I'm just setting up a weasel, a weasel trap, because anytime you get a lot of bait on the ground like there, you're almost guaranteed to have weasels. So like I said, I just modified this Connor bear for, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully this won't go off, it's fairly sensitive. I don't know if you can see underneath there, but I just you got this little 90 degree angle that comes down and rests on the uh, dog of the trap and uh, I dug a little hole there that the dog has room to to disappear in and now there's no trigger that hangs down to stop the animals from wanting to go in and out and I'm just going to pen that up a little bit so that the uh, the weasel will want to go right clean through there and hide it a little bit with some uh, pine needles and uh, see how we do See how we do with that modified trap. This will give you a better idea of what I was talking about. You see that little 90, 90 degree piece that I got riveted on? It touches right there on the dog. Any pressure down on that will pop the dog off. And uh, it just it hinges nicely. So, I'll get that all set up here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So there it is, that's the uh, completed set. You can see the uh, Connor Bear. With no uh, normal trigger, it has my modified trigger on there. And because it's modified, I was able to cover it up with leaves. Really conceals the trap well. And you can see the bait just hiding in behind there. The weasel should come right through there, step on that. And hopefully I'll have one there in a couple days. Nothing looks out of place. So the modified 110 pays off. Never thought you'd catch a fisher.